Hey guys, how's the guy here with um, Dark Cloud, and we got... Is that a lamp? Yes, that's a lamp. Another lamp. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do the point saves. Hey, I'll see you when I'm done with the dungeon. At least to the final floor. So it's basically the same thing over and over and over again. At least the dungeons in Ocarina of Time and George Mask and Zelda games in general are d different. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, oh, never mind. More puzzle related, actually. Big dungeon temporarily. Temporarily. We need to go talk to the mayor and get some supplies. Maybe, maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe we could, uh. Cloud House. Code. Cloud. Cloud. Whatever. Put his house here. Here, slot for a fence. Okay, let's put a lantern. A fence. A um, I don't know what that is. Character. As you can tell, I put the two characters for this house. You know. Okay, and... Oop! Claude's mother. Is that for a chimney? No, looks like for... No, that doesn't work. Let's put him there. A sign? No. Candy box. No. A chimney? No, I don't. I think I already tried that. Yeah. I guess I got everything I could put there until I, um, there's a pond. Let's put that right here. Make it look normal. Oh, there. There. There it goes. Any, any other house I can put down? No. Okay, let's go over here and let's stop. Uh, go in here and do the usual thing. It's called talk to him or something. Get some re freaking repair powder, and then use the repair powder, and so I can get another repair powder. Just making sure. You, yep, he got me repair powder. More than just one idiot. Wish he would give me more. It's very kind of annoying. Okay. Huh, what's that? Oh, there's a guy here. Hey, Glad, I thought I was finished when I was put inside that weird bubble. Okay, let's let's go back to that dungeon. Each cave, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's nothing on here, on this floor. Must be the last floor or something. Mark, he he, now you will die. It burns, how different. <laughs> He's the one dying? You guys. I 
sworn I press guard. Hey, it's like it's like the Sapphos. <laughs> God, he's a tough one, God. You will have to duel him. Duel is a special form of combat. Controller buttons marks markers will move from right to left. Press the right button when they line up with the oh Arrows such as the la, 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 left mean press side left right yeah yeah. Closer the button mark is to the center of the blue bar. When you press it, the better your rain will be. If you hit all the marks with the right timing, you'll be victors. When the duel starts, you will get, be given an indication of it with this mark. Be aware of it. Here it begins. Stay focused. Oh my god, it's like... It's like I'm playing, um... Something like Guitar Hero or one of those moving... Rhythm games. About that. But well, that was short though. <laughs> Undead Buster! On the Dran's Quest! The shortest dungeon room, I think. Yes. Use the Dran's Quest. Where is it? There it is. Let's go down to another floor. I need to drink some water, too. To the next floor. Which is, let's hope it's the final floor. How's it going? Got the hang of it yet? Yeah, so the floors beneath this one are even tougher. Now go to the vet now on to the advanced course to give you a fair chance against the meaner enemies down below. Are you using your charge attack when fighting enemies? Hold the Y button down and after your body flashes, lease it. With this you'll be you'll do a jump slash. It's effective against flying done enemies and ground enemies. Let's talk about more about weapons. So now, how's your weapon glowing? If you don't start upgrading them, now you can get into trouble later. Before you upgrade, it is a good idea to keep attachments on. You upgrade with one with them on, then the weapon can absorb the power of the attachment to add its own to its own power. But there is a power limit for each weapon. There is no need to upgrade its ability beyond this limit. When weapons reach each, reach level five or greater, then they can status break. A status break is a breaking down a weapon into a scythe sphere that contains the power of that weapon. If you install this into other weapons as an attachment, you can add the old weapon's attributes to the new weapon. The attributes in the scythe sphere will add to the weapon's new weapon's attributes permanently when the sphere is absorbed. However, the attributes received may be less than that of the weapon before being made into a scythe sphere. If the new weapon's limit is higher, then you can make a newer, more powerful weapon. Pretty cool, huh? That is it for today's lecture. Take care of yourself. I'll always be watching. Okay, let's get started. Let's actually look at our weapon. Can it um, upgrade it? Customize that shoot. Dump. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, it looks like it's almost too ready to be. Where's that damn? Oh, it's over here. Oh, okay. The guy, it's, it said, oh, zero, it's actually X. What the fuck? I swear it said, um, 
I sworn it said it, uh... Oh, fucking statue bitch. Ah, run away, that fucker is freaking strong. And my items are... Uh, I need water. And some bread. Cause I hurt like hell. And we're going to continue this in the next episode, so see you guys later. Bye.